My name is Jensen Sabal and I'm a backcountry ranger here in Baxter State Park. Um, there are four backcountry rangers and there's a whole slew of campground rangers that work at campgrounds that are accessible by, by car, but here at Chimney Pond and also at our other backcountry campground, Russell Pond, you have to hike to those sites. So we're a little bit different, um, but pretty much our job functions are exactly the same. My background, I got a biology degree from the University of Maine. And then um, a couple years after that, I joined a search and, volunteer search and rescue team here in the state of Maine. And um, that kind of gave me a good base to um, come in and be able to be responsive to any kind of incidents or emergencies here in the park. Some of the main responsibilities of working as a campground ranger, um, and that is also true of being a backcountry ranger, is that you take care of the campground. You help orientate campers and others to the surroundings and provide education to hikers about the trails and the conditions. And then for campers, you explain to them the rules, um, stuff like leave no trace um, principles so that they understand how they should behave in the park. Um, also, um, here in the backcountry, um, we, we compost human waste and um, we hike the trails and make sure that people are following the rules. Um, some of the stuff that some of the roadside rangers do, they, they have to um, help with moving firewood and also um, a lot of mowing as well. Some of them will do that. And um, they are responsible for talking to people before they even hit the trails or come up to our campgrounds in the backcountry. So. So here in Baxter State Park, we do all of our own maintenance. So um, we do have a maintenance department and they take care of the bigger stuff. But in the campgrounds themselves, um, we do some light carpentry, light construction, and we do a lot of preventive maintenance. So um, in the, in the, and that's true of the roadside campgrounds as well. Um, so that's a little bit different because um, in other parks, usually the maintenance department comes in and takes care of all of the maintenance from start to finish, preventative all the way through to um, uh, new construction, so. The thing that I enjoy the most about my job is getting to be up on the mountain on my days of mountain patrol and being on the summit where I feel like I can uh, talk with folks about preserving the alpine plants and staying on the trail. So there are several challenges to being a Baxter State Park um, ranger at the campgrounds. You have um, always the, the need to be rescue ready and need to always have a mindset of taking care of yourself and having your gear and everything ready to go up on the mountain, especially if you work at a, at a trailhead campground, um, which I do. And also, um, and, that, and really the rescues, they range anywhere from putting on a Band-Aid all the way up to dealing with um, somebody who's sick up on the mountain from heat exhaustion or having kind of some kind of major accident where they have multiple um, traumas. The other challenge is um, foreseeing the maintenance needs of the different campgrounds and kind of prioritizing projects and figuring out what you need to order for supplies. So there's um, a leadership aspect there. And then, um, and then the other big challenge that a lot of the campgrounds that, have, that are at trailheads face is uh, needing to manage multiple things at once. So you might, if you were, if, if one of our campground rangers um, at one of our roadside campgrounds is trying to um, offload firewood and somebody comes up and is like, oh, like I've got, 
you know, a problem. I've got locked out of my car, so they're trying to deal with that. But then as, as they're going to help them with that, somebody else approaches and is like, oh, my, <laughs> my party has gone missing on the mountain and I don't know where they are. Can you help me find them? So all of a sudden you're kind of torn, you're pulled in different directions at once and it's, um, you're, you need to manage that. So, um, so that's, that's possibly unique about our park. Although I think a lot of other parks around, um, the country are, are maybe similar as well, but that's really unique for us. My favorite place in the park, um, I love Chimney Pond, but um, this is, you know, where I work. So one of the places that I really like to go to retreat to when I'm, um, I have days off is to go to Wasada Cook Lake. It's um, a big lake lo located out in our deep backcountry area out near Russell Pond. And it's got super clear water. You can see almost 50 feet down. Um, and it's just a beautifully preserved lake. It's, it's awesome. Um, and not a lot of people out that way. Um, and then, yeah, that kind of, kind of uh, leads me to say that one of my favorite things to do in the park is open water swimming. Our park is really, really unique because we don't allow um, any motorboats on our ponds and lakes. So it's all um, canoes. So it, I feel relatively safe. If, if you are into swimming out in deep water, um, that is, this is a great place for it because um, you can pretty much cruise anywhere you want when you're swimming out on the ponds and the lakes. So, um, so the one thing that um, I would share with, with anybody coming into the park is the story of Percival Baxter and how he started the park and why he dedicated most of his life to trying to um, purchase the land and put the park together. Um, prior to Percival Baxter, it's hollow. it was considered um, sacred ground for the Wabanaki people, which are the native people of this area. And, um, and you know, Percival Baxter had the vision to preserve it um, for future generations. And he wanted it to be used um, but he wants people to come and enjoy it, but in the right unspoiled way. So um, it's our job to preserve it. He wrote that into the deeds and we, we try our best to uphold that. And also um, we're a little bit, that does make Baxter State Park a little different than most parks because we put preservation at a higher priority than, than recreation. And then a funny story that I have. Um, so one thing that people might not know about Baxter State Park is we do have a winter camping season. It extends from December 1st through March uh, or till April 1st. And, um, and so uh, here at Chimney Pond, we have a little creature known as a pine martin. And one year we had multiple pine martins um, and they, are notorious for being um, food thieves in the winter time. And so our campers in the winter time um, had their food stolen by these pine martins and they had a, a stuff sack full of food and these two pine martins were playing tug of war with it. And one was underneath the cabin um, trying to pull it under the cabin and the other one had it in its, in its jaw and was trying to yank it out. and. The one that was outside the cabin saw me drop the bag and ran and I could see the bag moving and I was trying to recover it for the campers that needed their food so I ended up playing tug of war with a pine martin that was underneath the camp. Um, that was kind of a unique uh, wildlife experience that I had um, here in the park and that's, um, that's just one of many opportunities that I've had to interact with, with and, uh, and observe wildlife here. Um, it's really an amazing place. Uh, you get to see moose, uh, raccoon, um, tons of birds because we have a lot of um, warbler species coming up here to breed. Um, there's, there's just an amazing amount of diversity.